Hi, my name's Steve from Field and Steel. Uh, I'm a knife maker from Yorkshire. Uh, that's Yorkshire for you lads up at home. Um, I'm down at the Bushcraft Show, uh, trading my first Bushcraft Show, as a matter of fact, uh, and I'd just like to show you some knives. So one of the main reasons why I'm here this weekend is I'm here with uh, Wildway Bushcraft. And this is a, a knife that me and John from Wildway actually designed together. This is John's take on a Wildway uh, instructor knife. So it's, uh, it's 3mm 01 uh, carbon steel, which was John's spec. Now, John's quite a big guy, so he did ask for a bigger, deeper handle. But it kind of works out quite well for a lot of people. Um, comes with a G10 uh, rock pattern handle and G10 liners, carbon fibre pins. So it's a pretty weather resistant and bacteria resistant handle. You're not going to have any problems with G10 swelling or splitting or anything like that. These are available this weekend for 220. This is um, a second iteration of uh, a knife that I already make. Um, again, this is, was a co-design by a guy named Joe Price from Ireland, who was a, a survival instructor uh, in Sweden and in Ireland. And the original one was carbon steel, but we thought we'd dis uh, distinguish this one by offering it in stainless. So the rock pattern and the stainless give you a really year-round weather-resistant knife. Um, and these are available pre-order uh, for 320. Now a little bit of a companion knife to go with that one is the new, again, new this weekend, is the Renegade. Now it's a little bit more compact, it's 3mm steel rather than 4 but again, it's stainless steel, they're both AEBL, again, G10 rock pattern uh, handle, G10 liners, G10 pins, Kydex sheath, so you're good to go for all weathers, this is never going to cause you any problems with corrosion, uh, any issues with swelling in the handle isn't going to happen, you can use these for game prep. You're never going to have any problem with bacteria entering the, the, the medium of the handle. Um, and these are available for 270 on pre-order. This one was new uh, just uh, the back end of last year. And this was a co-design uh, with uh, myself, Joe Price and Ed Olsen from iskogmark.com in Sweden. And what we tried to achieve with this one is an outdoor chef's knife that serves also as a wood processor. So it's, it's tough enough that it'll process firewood, but it's also got the correct edge geometry to use as a, a game knife or a, a chef's knife. Um, we've got a few features on this one. We've got a, a pot hanging notch for getting the coffee pot off the fire, which if you know your Swedish people, that's a big important thing. And also we've got a sharp indent here that can act as either a pot hanger um, to lift your, your heavier pots like your, your Dutch ovens and stuff off the fire but that's also sharp so you can use that on a ferro rod. Again this is 3mm uh, ABL G10 handle and it comes with a kydex sheath um, so you, again you're not going to have any problems with food bacteria or blood or anything entering the handle uh, you're not going to have any problems with heat interfering with the, the scales because G10 is pretty much heat resistant to a certain extent um, and it's just a good low maintenance answer to an outdoor chef's knife uh, and those uh, are available on pre-order for 320. So these I've just shown you, the others I've just shown you were all collaborations um, with various uh, outdoor chefs and instructors. These are my own uh, my own designs and probably some of my most popular popular models. And this is the Delta, uh, by far my most popular knife, the Delta. Um, ABL steel again, stainless steel, it's a great steel. You've got a 90 degree spine on this, so despite the myth, you can strike a ferro rod quite successfully with stainless. Um, that's a bit of a myth, you know, it's nothing to do, actually nothing to do with ferro rods, it's all about striking flint. Uh, but you do have a 90 degree spine on this, so as well as the option of um, striking a ferro rod, they do make a really great tinder scraper, so you've almost got two, two blades there. Again, the rock pattern, uh, G10, the rock pattern's really great. Uh, in my opinion, offers a superior grip to a smooth handle, um, and kind of changing people's mind about the rock pattern. Because when you see it online, a lot of people think, "Oh, that's going to be really uncomfortable." Actually, the opposite's true. Um, 
you don't have to over grip you don't have any issue with the handle twisting or anything when your hands get sweaty or wet so the rock pattern is a really good solution to the problem of using using knives in a wet environment again if you're in a wet environment the AEBL stainless and the G10 are totally stable uh, the G10 is an engineered material so you're not going to have any problems with swelling or uh, bacteria or moisture en entering uh, any part of the handle okay something quite unusual um, that I offer is uh, is this this piece that again I co-designed this with uh, Joe Price um, and this is what's called the lichen um, and this is milled from a single piece of 6.4 mil carbon steel so these come to me uh, as a flat blank I then mill out the hand uh, mill out the blade um, and, and put a rock pattern on the handle so it's, it's one piece of steel so the handle is is basically created by the steel um, and it's an unusual design with the ring tail on it if you look into your knife history especially the american knives the ring tail is quite a popular um, addition to trout and bird knives of the 50s and 60s but kind of died out during the 80s and 90s and we just thought it'd be a, a cool idea to do a modern iteration of, of the, the ring tail but with the addition of having a scandi style blade on it um, and these are available uh, from from me today or uh, online um, at 150. Another quite unusual knife that's been surprisingly popular this weekend is the splinter. Now, me being from Yorkshire, um, I'm quite tight. And I don't like paying for scalpel blades, so I decided to make a reusable scalpel. Um, which, you know, before disposable blades came along, all the surgeons used reusable scalpels and would send them away for sharpening. Um, it's one of the reasons why stainless steel became uh, so popular in Sheffield. And for those of you that are from Sheffield, will know that 99% of the world's uh, surgical blades are still made at Swan Morton in Sheffield. So this is my uh, my iteration of a reusable scalpel, and that's a splinter, and that's made from a 12C27N Sandvik uh, Swedish stainless. Again, I love my G10, won't give you any problems, G10 handle, um, and this and this little knife just has so many uses, carpenters, uh, hunters, um, <coughs> craftspeople, artists, and those are available uh, this weekend and also available online uh, for £100. Probably my most well-known knife and where the logo comes from, the rabbit head logo, is the uh, Jack Rabbit friction folder. It was kind of the knife that made me popular uh, when I first set out as a full-time knife maker. Um, and also the fact it's a UK legal friction folder so there's no locking mechanism at all it's sub three inches so it comes uh, under the the, uh, the legal carry for UK law uh, these versions are actually AEBL stainless as well because you know a pocket knife needs to be as low maintenance as possible you don't want to have to worry about that rusting in your pocket if you forget forgotten to wipe it or whatever and again the G10 rock pan handle just makes it a really easy knife to use for lots and lots of tasks probably the last knife I've got today because I think I think uh, we're running out of battery and we're running out of time um, is the Atom now this is uh, again G10 rock pattern like all of my knives here available this weekend um, in 2 mil uh, Sandvik uh, 12C27M uh, G10 handle like I say and just a really useful little lightweight neck knife that's uh, just not going to give you any problems it's just so so useful if you only need a small knife for doing little camp jobs and stuff like that it's just a great lightweight option and that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it that I've got to show you this weekend. And where can they find you at? Any details? So it's uh, Field and Steel on Instagram. Um, that's where I live most of the time. I'm also available at www.fieldandsteel.co.uk uh, and on Facebook at Field and Steel. Cool. Thank you. Cheers.